make a quick note and say unfortunately at the end or oh, i went out actually obviously had a good time but i decided when i go oh actually i had yeah i had a great time actually almost had a good time i had a great time and it was obviously um you know wet and cold oh my god it was so wet on the way back it was raining torrentially like literally like it was it felt like i was in southeast asia or something it was horrendous and i decided this time around hey it's wet it's cold i have to bust out my parka and i remember oh yeah i got my rave parka that i've been wearing for years right and it's my flipping vetma parka from where is it from fall 2016 I'm not sure if you guys remember but this is the parka that i have right that i've been wearing for years you can see there the badges on there you see that there you go yeah somewhere around there anyway you can see the picture but i've been wearing this bad boy for bloody years and it's usually my go-to jacket whenever it comes around to flipping um whenever it comes down to uh to winter season but i didn't notice all this time that i've had it that it's absolutely dying so this last leg so i need to get a replacement or get another one maybe i'm probably going to get this because this jacket if i'm not mistaken from 2017 is based on a canada goose so it's their flip of a canada goose and then the funny thing is is that the following season actually um which might have been, yeah, it was probably was spring 2017. Um, Vetmon did a whole entire collection full of collaborations. And I think one of them was a collaboration with Canada Goose, which is what that iconic red one is, which I might get. I think it's a red one that is in a Kendrick Lamar video. Um, it's the one that kind of like clips and it makes it, you can make it short and it comes in black as well. And, um, but yeah, but this one is based on an original Canada Goose. Um, and I've been wearing it for flipping donkey years. And it's one of my flipping favorite jackets that I have that I own. But unfortunately, it's dying. So I'm going to have to kind of bin it. And it's my last flipping go around of going out in the clubs with it. But it's legitimately, this jacket has taken me to, this jacket has gone to with me with, yeah, it's gone to, it's gone with me to Frankfurt. It's gone with me to Berlin. Like, it's probably going to go with me to Kiev if the war didn't break out because I was going to go there for my next kind of techno tourism trip. It's been around the world with me. And unfortunately, now it's on its last legs and I'm having to, you know, bin it for lack of a better term and i'm really upset i'm not going to lie i'm kind of upset i just kind of have to go but noticing all the flipping you know rips on it and stuff it's got to be going but yeah i realize now especially going out like you know the the flipping winter seasons has arrived you need to have a parker on there i need to kind of replace it so unfortunately that jacket has gone and i think i've actually got a picture of it here actually from 2017 this is actually the collection up on flipping vogue so you can see which jacket i have in case you can't see the full image this is yeah 2016 full vetmar this is kind of again during the era where i was obsessed with flipping them now still am but when vetmar first came into my life especially with someone like myself who wasn't necessarily that crewed up on maison margella i've seen these shapes and seeing where all these references were coming from because i had some knowledge of maison marty margella and what legacy and what influence he had on fashion but in terms of seeing how he's how demon was able to take that learnings or take that kind of inspiration and kind of update it in his way it really gave me a new family appreciation of maison marty margella i'm not sure if some people are the same some people i'm sure just bought vetima and didn't care about margella but for me it kind of made me understand why margella was such a big deal that this fashion designer this talented guy in demna was willing to go into the archives and dig this deep and reference them so much because i felt like early vetma was basically just a tribute act to that like, the glory days of flipping margella and when maybe he felt he was really in love with fashion and the industry in general and maybe now it's changed blah 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 blah, blah. but i thought the early parts of vetma were absolutely incredible so this is it and i think the look for it if you want to see it yourself in the fall 2016 vetma is look number where the things was the end where is it towards the end, there it goes look number 50 in vetma for 2016 there's some absolute bangers here that still stand the test of time right there's this fire may burn was it, oh, sorry made the bridges burn or something all the way um hoodie i think that purple hoodie that's got something about sex is on here as well yeah this one yes yeah, sexual fantasies that hoodie's on that hoodie is part of that collection this bomber jacket that i've always wanted to with total fucking darkness in the back and a, and a pentagram is in that collection also there's this Justin Forever um, hoodie with a long sleeve underneath it. I feel like a sweatshirt hoodie. I'm not sure show actually material. Maybe it's just a long sleeve. Clara 3000, I think they're modeling back in the day when they used to have loads of it scene kids and artists. Man, now it's mostly just models. I don't feel like they, they do too much of the scenesters anymore. Or maybe I just don't know them. I'm not too clued up. But this is a strong collection. But the jacket I have is here. Look number 50. 
so you can see what I'm playing with. But unfortunately, I'm having to hang mine up because it's absolutely battered and bruised. But this is the jacket I have here. Absolutely love it. And like I said, then it's, it was funny because the very next season, they had a full collection full of flipping collaborations that they did and then put out. But, you know, you've got to love a Vetmar or Demna Design Parker. Always oversized, always boxy, always loads of big pockets. And I love the fact that the hood also has got this weird extension bit here. I think obviously you can, maybe you can see that here on the hood. It kind of extends. So obviously you've got the logo and it kind of extends out. So you can kind of hide completely underneath the hood. Which is pretty sick, but like I said, I'm gonna have to chuck mine away and replace it with an absolute banger when I absolutely get the time to do so. Actually, let me see if I can get up on the screen and show you the one I'm gonna replace it with. But it's the one that was featured in a Kendrick Lamar video a very long time ago. I think it was 2017. It should be 2017. Um, spring summer collection with those loads of collaborations. They had like one with like I think Carhartt as well, including a collaboration in there. Loads of other piece, bits and pieces. But it's one of my favorite jackets actually. And it's always kind of props up here and there on Grey Odd sometimes and some other um, consignment type store places that you can pick up some Vetemar on. Some lady maybe purchased it thinking she wanted to be cool and then kind of fell out of love. Because this, this early Vetemar was not the most flattering stuff ever. Do you know what I mean? It was very, very boxy, very big, very long. Um, this is when he was really in these artistry kind of bag, not really trying to sell things, just trying to make cool shit. Um, so a lot of it is not the most flattering stuff to wear if you're a chic um, lady out there. Do you know what I mean? Nowadays, I think Balenciaga probably fits a lot better in terms of that kind of mold, but still has that kind of edge in it. But yeah, this is from for 2017 actually and you can see the upgrade i think this also includes a collection where they had that um swing jacket that everyone still um jocks uh, the one that i still actually want the classic or the famous swing jacket i think it's that one there yeah the, the, the Le Le levi swing jacket which is essentially um a denim jacket that looks like it's been spliced um through the middle and then restitched again to make it cinched but from what i remember on the inside i think it's only sp sliced on the waist around the front but not all the way around the back so then they stitched it to kind of like a dark design so it kind of flares out at the back when you're wearing it which is quite nice and it's also cropped in terms of its fit but as you can see in this collaboration this is a this is a collection full of collaborations i'm pretty sure there's one here i'm pretty sure with dickie or car with the double knee stuff there's a levi's collaboration there's a few other i think there might be champion in here there's reebok in here also um and then the Parker that I want to replace, the one that I had already, there's, yeah, there's a famous, obviously, that Antwerp champion hoodie that everyone's rocking. And then another one as well there. Um, and the one that I want is this. This is the one. And it comes in black and red. So it's look number 52 and 54, spring 2017, better more. You've got this black jacket and a red jacket that comes in. Yeah, it comes in black and red, sorry. And the inside of it, um, it's actually a Canada Goose collaboration. So I'm not sure what model it is, but whatever model it is, there's a harness or strap on the inside so you can wear it like a backpack. I'm sure that's maybe a vet mom thing they did. And there's also a harness on the inside so you can tuck the ends of it in and not have it super long, which is pretty cool. So it comes in black and red also. So you've got it wearing like a backpack there. And obviously they've got it wearing like a classic jacket. So those are the ones I'm probably going to end up replacing them with. So interesting to end the show like that, isn't it, right? Them was in his bag them days, isn't it? He ended the show with in between that so you got two looks with the looks like a velvet or s velvet or something crushed velvet or suede or something um suit head to toe you've got this motorbike um outfit also with the connected trousers and jacket with a nice sweater with a heart on it or maybe some long sleeve shirt and you got a parka but in general no real big ball gowns or whatever some there's a dress here but most of it's kind of like what you'd term to be classic streetwear with a parka and whatnot and a tracksuit and some leather and some boots and what that's a clever way interesting way to kind of end the show but yeah i love that jacket and i'm really upset that i'm having to throw mine away but the time has come the time has 